This tweet, this tweet, and this tweet have all been published automatically after uploading a video to our YouTube channel and an article to our blog. Want to know how to do it? Let me show you. Hello Metricoolers, my name is Amazon and I am part of the team here at Metricool. In today's video, I am going to show you a feature that never lets us run out of content, Metricool's auto list. Are you ready? Let's go. Say that you write an article, upload it to your blog, and then post a tweet to drive traffic to this post. What if I told you that you could automate this whole process? Well, with Metricool's auto lists, you can. But what are they exactly? Auto lists are a set of posts that you can schedule and share to social networks automatically over time. These posts can be created manually from a CSV file or from an RSS feed. So with auto lists, you could create evergreen content periodically include content with news about a new YouTube video or blog post, and create repeated content for platforms such as Google Business Profile, which deletes content after seven days. It's a piece of cake and it will save you a ton of time. The first thing you need, obviously, is a Metricool account. You can sign up with the link that we left in the video description for your free account for life. And once your account is created and you're connected to all the social networks, it's time to get down to work. First, go to your Metricool dashboard and click on the planning tab and then on auto list that you will see on the left side menu. Click on new auto list and this is where you will start creating your first auto list. Create a name to identify it and select which social networks you will be posting to. You can select a repeat if you want the content to be re-added to the list and republished. But if you don't enable this option, once the content is published, it will be removed from your auto list. If you are adding links, you can shorten them with this option. This way, you can see the number of users who visit the link from that post. Now, select the time and day or days that you want the content to be published. For example, every Thursday at 2.30 p.m. This way, every Thursday, a post will be published from your auto list until the list ends or indefinitely if you selected the repeat box. A tip is, if you want your content to come out when more people are active, schedule it for the best hours so you can score big. Now the time has come to feed your auto list. But be careful because there are a few different ways that you can add content. The first way is to create posts one by one like you would do in the planner. You can add any links, up to four images per post, GIFs, and videos. But if you prefer to do it in bulk, then no worries. Create a CSV file with a column for the text of your post and if you decide to upload an image, you can upload it from Google Drive or Dropbox. And if you add an image, make sure to add another column with the URL of the image. You could also use Metricool's social media template, which we will leave for you in the video description. Now we have come to the best part, creating an automatic auto list from your blog or videos that you post to YouTube. Simply select link in RSS feed and watch it do its magic. And in case you have a blog, add the URL followed by a slash symbol and the word feed. And if you want to add your YouTube channel, paste the URL of the link that we have left in the first comment, followed by the identifier of your channel, which you can find in the basic information section of YouTube Studio. Now let's put the finishing touches on your first auto list. In the prefix, add the text that will go at the beginning of the post and in the suffix, the text that will go at the end of the post. You can also leave this blank or just fill in one. Select this option if you want to include the latest published content to your auto list. If not, the auto list will start when new content is added to your blog or channel. If you want to review or edit anything before it's posted, turn on this option. That is, the post that you add will not be published to your social networks until you activate them. And finally, if you want new posts to be added to the top of your auto list, select this option. And this way, these will be the first posts to go out at the time and day that you've scheduled. 
And once you set up your auto list, you'll be able to see all of the details in the main panel so you can turn it on or off whenever. And if you want to delete your auto list, simply click on the garbage can icon and bye. Remember that when creating content, it's important to distribute it as many times as possible, as long as it makes sense and doesn't go out of fashion. And thanks to this feature, you can save a lot of time where your content is being posted automatically. And thanks to this feature, you can save time while your content is being published all the time automatically. If you don't have a content plan yet, don't worry because you can learn how to do so step by step by watching this video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask and make sure to subscribe to our channel for more news and advice on marketing and social media. Until the next video, Magic Cooler.